Hello, welcome to my channel, my name is Amber. Today I've got a review of one of the new Revolution Reloaded palettes for you. This is the Fundamental palette. Um, before we start the video, I'm just going to mention a couple of things really quick. First one is that I am wearing my pyjama top, as you can probably tell. Just thought I'd mention that. Um, this is how we do things around here. You see other YouTubers where people are like, oh, where did you get your top from? With me, it's probably going to be, where did you get your PJs from? Um, <laughs> The other thing, this is my first time filming a video like this where it's going to be like different clips and it's going to be past me and future me. So I don't know how well the editing is going to go, but hopefully it will it will be fine. I'm just going to apologise in advance if it's not. Um, so let's get into the video. So as I said, I'm going to be talking about this palette here. This is the Revolution Reloaded Fundamental palette. It is one of four, I think, new Reloaded palettes that Revolution have launched. They all sort of look like this. If you if you can see, they've all got like £15 um, and they retail for £4. You can pick this up from Revolution Beauty's website, from Superdrug and I think, I know Beauty Bay have started stocking Revolution now, I don't know if they have these palettes on yet but if they don't I'm sure they will soon. I actually picked this one up of, over the other new releases because um, I kind of thought the colour selection reminded me of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry palette um, in the pictures. Now when I got it I think as we can see here it, it's really not it's not a dupe at all it's not a, trying to be a dupe um i think the reason i thought it might have been is just because it's got kind of this silver it's got like these pinky gold shades it's quite neutral but no it, it's really it's it's nothing like that one i don't i don't own that one but it doesn't look anything like that one in person um so in this palette in the fundamental palette you get three matte shades so that is this one down here this dark brown here um, and this kind of peachy shade up here. You get one satin which is this kind of pinky colour on the top if you can see and um, all the rest are shimmers. We do have a couple that are like kind of glittery shades, they don't really have much pigment to them. I think they're supposed to be like toppers. I, I think that's that one and this one. I'm not, I'm not sure about the silver as well. I think that might be a sort of a glittery texture as well. Um, I personally don't mind that it is more shimmer heavy um, I don't tend to do all matte looks, I always have a shimmer on the lid if I am doing a full eyeshadow look but I think looking at this palette there are kind of shades missing, I think it is missing the key transition shades, you've only really got these browns here and it is maybe missing like a base shade or a, a matte highlight shade um, so I think it would work really well as say a companion palette to something else um, but if you are a matte person you probably you're probably not going to like this palette um, the shades are all numbered on the back 1 to 15 but there's no names or anything on here so what I'm going to do, I'm going to insert some swatches and I'm going to um, show you how I got this eye look that I'm wearing today I've got the palette on my eyes now uh, so I'm going to skip to that, we'll see how we get on so I have already primed my eyes with the Essence I Love Colour Base so I have Colour Base, it's not my favourite but it does the job um, I'm going to start out, I think, with this sort of peachy brown colour down here. I'm just using this as a MSQ, just a fluffy brush. I didn't think to bring a big mirror down, so I'm just going to use this little compact one. And just pop that all over my eyes with a fluffy brush. Then I'm going to take this dark brown shade here and just pop that into my crease using the same brush. Seems to be blending quite nicely, doesn't that suck? Okay, I'm going to next take my Real Techniques Bold Metals 203 brush, it's one of my favourite blending brushes. Um, and I'm just going to take, I'm going to take this sort of grey brown shade down here um, and I think mix it in a bit with this base shade as well. I'm just going to pop that and blend that with the brown that I've just done. That is quite a deep brown, so I just want to soften that up a little bit. Okay, 
and then back to the deeper brown and just a little bit here on the outer corner. It has blended well, but I think there's not much difference in tone. I feel like the shades have sort of merged into one a little bit. Um, I'm just going to take a little bit more of that peachy brown here. Yeah, it has kind of gone like a, a mud colour, but it, it does look, it looks good. I'm going to see what it looks like um, with the shimmer on the top. So... It will start by trying a flat brush. This is the Spectrum A16 to apply this. I'm just going to dampen this with a little bit of fixing spray. And I think for the shimmer colour, um, let's try this bronzy shade down here, this one. If we don't like that, we'll go in with something else. The shades are quite crumbly. That's pretty. That's really pretty. That looks really filed, really pretty. I'm going to try the other eye. I'm just going to use my finger on this side just to see if it applies any differently, which looks best. Not too much difference there between both eyes. I think the side that I've applied with my finger looks maybe a little bit more intense. So I'm just going to go over this one. But yeah, I've applied really nicely with a flat brush. Yeah, that's a really nice colour. Just going to kind of deepen it up a little bit with that dark brown again. Just through the crease because you can't really see what I've done there. Okay, in a corner highlight, I think I'm going to try this shade down at the bottom here. This looks like a highlighted colour. And this is a Zoe Vilux crease brush. I normally use this for highlight. Mm -hmm. This shade's kind of glittery, it's not really what I've wanted. Um, okay, let's go in. Let's put a little bit of this gold on my finger. Try that. Okay, I'm going to clean up the eyes, I'm going to put some mascara on, I'm going to come back and talk about what I think. I'm back, I've done a full face of makeup. I did decide to do a winged liner, which mm, I think we can all agree that might have been a mistake. Um, and I'm wearing a lovely bright pink lip. This is the Colourpop Lux Lipstick in the shade Jasmine from the Disney Collection. Because, why not? Why not wear a bright pink lip? Um, so I'm just here to give you my final thoughts on the palette. I do really, really like this eye look. I do like how it turned out. The shades are really, really pretty. Um, I think you get you get a lot for your money here, you know, this is £4. The only thing I do think that it could do with some more mattes, really. I'm not a massive lover of matte shades, I do tend to prefer shimmers, but I think I just kind of struggled to make a complete look without more mattes. That was the, the thing that I was missing when I was doing the eye look. Um, I think if you already have shades like this in your collection, like this shade that I've got in my eyes today, I've got this in a million palettes. Um, you probably don't need this palette if you do already own these sorts of shades elsewhere. But if you don't, then I think it is a good investment. It is you know, a good buy. It's worth picking up. Some of the shades, um, I think this one and this one are kind of like, they're a little bit more crumbly. They don't really have as much pigment to them. I think maybe they're supposed to be like eyeshadow toppers or something. Um, I will um, leave it down below with how long these eyeshadows kind of last, but I think judging from how they apply and how they feel and everything, the kind of what you can expect from Revolution eyeshadows in terms of quality, they're, they're okay, they're not the best, but I think for £4 they are really, really good value for money. 
Um, and if you are after a palette like this, I would recommend it. If you're not, if you do already have these, like I've said, it, it, it's not really anything new. I wouldn't rush out and buy this. But I really do, I do really like the Revolution Reloaded palettes in general. I think they're great for the money. They're some of the best um, affordable palettes that you can get hold of, really. Um, so yeah, that's that's my final thoughts on it, really. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and hit that notification bell so you get notified next time I upload a video. Um, I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye.